In cooking, one must have a what-the-hell attitude. So says Julia Child, the famous cook who transformed the way that Americans approach the kitchen one stick of butter at a time. Julia Child did what no one, including herself, thought she could do. She traveled to Paris with her husband and dared to take on la cuisine bourgeoise, good, traditional, delicious, extremely difficult French home cooking. She was the only woman in her cooking class at Le Cordon Bleu, which is like the MIT of cooking schools in France. In case you haven't noticed, Julia Child is kind of an idol of mine. When I saw the movie Julie and Julia, I kept thinking, go back to Julia, I want to see more of Julia. None of this Julie, the modern day blogger who complained about everything. Julia Child never complained. If she completely wrecked a recipe, I mean, her cat didn't know the difference. I'm sure Julia Child's cat ate like a king several nights a month. Never bothered Julia Child. And I'm here to talk about Julia Child today, not only because she's my idol, obviously, but also because I think she embodies the theme of proving them wrong. Her autobiography says it all. My mother, Carolyn, or we call her Caro, was a very warm and social person, but like many of her peers, she didn't spend much time in the kitchen. She occasionally sallied forth with a baking powder biscuit or a cheese dish, but she was not a cook, nor was I. As a child, I had zero interest in the stove. And I began to think of France as this nation of icky, picky people, where the women are all dainty, exquisitely coiffed, nasty little creatures. I was a six foot two inch, 37 year old, rather loud and unserious Californian. The sight of France in my poor home was like a giant question mark. Upon reflection, Julie says that she had two main weaknesses at the start of her career. She was confused, evidenced by a lack of understanding of just what the heck she was doing. And also by a lack of confidence. She said that she was very nervous about bringing her ideas and her creativity to life in front of TV. But how did Julia Child become Julia Child? I mean, the odds were completely against her. She didn't know the French language, she didn't know the French culture, and she had little to no natural culinary talent. And then she writes this cookbook, and not just any cookbook. Mastering the art of French cooking was one of the greatest contributions to the culinary world. And all the while, she's collaborating with her co-authors across the ocean while she's in the United States filming this TV cooking show, despite her self-professed ineptitudes, and despite the fact that no one was doing cooking shows at TV at this time. I mean, the woman must have been crazy. And she becomes this woman who's famous for her one-liners, such as, Bon appétit, and never apologize while she's literally hacking a chicken with a butcher knife. I mean, the woman was ruthless. I mean, let me just show you her true determination that she had. <coughs> when you flip anything, you really have to have the courage in your convictions. Maybe the cat has fallen in the stew, or the lettuce has frozen, or the cake has collapsed. Ah, beyond, tant pis. Usually one's cooking is better than one thinks it is. And even if it is truly vile, one simply has to grit her teeth and smile and learn from her mistake. The only real stumbling block is the fear of failure. And it is that just attitude that led Julia Child 